Brad Ashikurunian, the overwhelming comment is that he had a bad time. His move to BFC has failed. Now, I can't refute that it is not a successful move, of course. But this uh, story or the narrative that he played as a left back all the time, I think, has to change. Because you and I know, I mean, at least like in the beginning, he played up front or came off the bench and tried a little bit. Then, obviously, at that time, uh, Carles in the last podcast that he did spoke about why he couldn't play, so he played him as a left back. But then again, he ended up playing up front in the crunch games in the uh, semi final against ATK second leg. He scored the goal. He was playing on the right wing. The next year, he had a good season, but he missed most of it because of injury. Last season, he ended up playing most of it up front again. So it's not completely on the club, is it? It's a lot to do with him as well. This would be my argument. I think. I'll go the other way um, and say it's a lot to do on the club, but not necessarily a lot to do on the coaches. So what I mean by that, I'm saying it's not necessarily it's Carlos. It's not it is, yeah. Because if the club don't recruit, now you, you, the cliche thing is you should have two players for every position. If the club had two left backs, then when Ashik's not doing certain things as a right winger or left winger or in a position that, let's say, Carlos wanted him to do up front, that's the coach's responsibility then to coach the player to do that. That's the job. Unfortunately, in the ISL, you don't get enough time to coach. It's more managing because games come very, very quickly. There's a little training time in terms of how much recovery time with the games. But if you're at a club for multiple years or that and the same coach has been there, the coach should be able to fix those problems because you were not recruited as a left back. You were recruited as an attacking player to play on the wings. And then obviously the injury happened and all that. But after that, the next coach coming in and the next coach coming in, we're using him as a left back. It's primarily because I think they probably looked in their bench and thought, we don't have any other options and that's why I have to play him. But then you've got a question, were they looking right or was the advice inside the club right? Because they did have a left back. You had Roshan Singh who was now emerged and broken into the national team. So you had a player who was more than capable of playing that position. And we've seen him obviously playing in the BDFA Super Division. So it's just a question of, Maybe they didn't have the confidence to give a young player that opportunity. So you've got to give credit to Marco there. Marco has allowed a young player to come in, broken in. That's meant, well, we don't need you to play left back, Ashik. So you've either got to play up front or move on and move to another club. So I think it's, it's great for him to get this move to um, HK Mohan Bagan because I think he certainly won't be playing. I hope so. I hope he won't be playing as a left back or, um, over there. Because I think if you look at it even for the national team, when he came on in those games and played in an attacking position, he is a threat. You play against stronger opposition, uh, Middle Eastern teams, when you are going to be defending for large chunks of the game, having strong physical, he's improved on that aspect, actually. He can hold himself up against players. He can hold on to the ball. And he still has that pace to break on the counter. You need players of that playing further up the field and not as a left back. Because I think we've got enough options at left back. And yeah, possibly, I would say, better options than him at left back. Yes. But, in attacking positions, left-footed, I don't think we have better options than him. Yes, absolutely. So uh, nobody's denying that he's his best placed up front, right? Like that's his uh, yeah. natural habitat, let's say. But uh, as a left back, do you think at the time when he came into the club, obviously left wing was Sunil. There was no no way he was breaking into that space. Uh, Udanta was at that time uh, someone who they really really rated very highly. Who had a good performance a year before. The only option was to play up front. And I think there was a period of time when they three played up front, uh, but they didn't score much or do much damage other than Sunil being the only lone scorer. Yeah, I think, look, I mean, I've seen him play as a nine and the talk about I had him at Pune as well. I don't think he's great with his back to goal because his main threat is when he's facing the goal. But look, when you move to a club like BFC and you're a left-sided player and you know Sunil Chetri is there, there's two ways of mindset approaching that. Do you join that club thinking, I'm going to be better than him, I'm going to make him go on the bench and I'm going to play? Or do you go with the, and am I going to try and assist him and get as many assists and make, make sure I play in the team, right? Or try and make a partnership with the Chetri or whoever the striker is. So I think some players, it's, it's how you react as a player. I think like, that's why I admire Liston a lot. He's gone to a club where like ATK Mohan Bagan, a lot of people said, oh, you're just going to go there, sit on the bench. He won't play. They've got Manvi, they've got David Williams, they've got X, Y, Z. But he went there and he's kicked on from his season that he had a hydro button. And I think that's what you want to see young players do, saying, listen, now this is my turn. It doesn't matter if there's a legend playing there. I'm going to show you what I can do. And look, as coaches, if the guy's producing week in, week out, you're going to play him. And then 
you'd adjust things around him because you know Sunil's world style we've seen with the national team he doesn't play out on the left so I think if Ashik had made that position his own or he came in when, uh, when Udanta wasn't on form he could have made that position his own um, as you said yeah a little bit to blame on Ashik he didn't really you know provide BFC fans you could say a full glimpse of his potential he just showed it in fits and bursts like that semi-final here and there but consistently over his time over there you'd have to say was it was a bit of a disappointment and the excuse the easy excuses are oh, I was made to play at left back yeah I think that's the narrative